everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. When it comes to biryanis, I've made a number of biryanis. I'll give you a couple of links in the description. Please go and check it out. I'm sure you all will enjoy it. Today, I'm going to share another fantastic biryani recipe. This is chicken tikka biryani. Now, I've, there are a couple of steps that I've shown. Please follow all the steps. It's actually very, very simple to make. So let's get started and check out the recipe. So now I'm going to mix the marinade for the chicken pieces. To a bowl, add one cup of fresh curd, one tablespoon ginger garlic paste, half teaspoon turmeric powder, one tablespoon Kashmiri chilli powder, and one tablespoon regular chilli powder, one and a half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon garam masala powder, one teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon coriander powder, one teaspoon pepper. Next, add the juice of one small lemon. So just mix everything nicely. So I'm adding a pinch of the colouring agent. This is the kesari powder or the orange colour powder. Now this is optional. If you don't want to add it, you can also do it without it. I'm just adding it because it's going to give a nice colour to the chicken pieces. The marinade is done. Now let's marinate the chicken pieces. For the chicken tikka biryani, I've taken about one and a half kilos of chicken with bone. Make sure you cut them into medium sized pieces. You don't want it too large. So the reason I'm taking it with bone is because it's going to add a lot more flavour to the biryani. Pour the marinade over the chicken pieces. So just mix the marinade so that all the chicken pieces are coated well. So you can see, just rubbing the marinade onto all the chicken pieces. So I'm marinating the chicken just for about an hour because we're going to make the recipe now. But you can marinate it for about two to three hours or leave it overnight when you plan to make the chicken tikka biryani. So I've taken two cups of long grain basmati rice. For this recipe, it's a 250 ml cup measurement. Wash the rice a couple of times, pour enough water and soak it for about an hour. So now I'm going to cook the rice to a pot, add enough water to cook the rice. Once the water starts boiling, add the soaked basmati rice. Next, I'm going to add a few whole spices. So this is going to make the rice all the more flavorful. Add cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, shahi jeera, whole peppercorns, mace and bay leaf. Next add a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of ghee. Mix everything together. Cook till it's about 95% done. So once the rice is cooked, strain it and keep it aside. Next, I'm going to make the masala to a pan. Add one tablespoon of ghee and add about half tablespoon of oil. Add a few whole spices, a piece of cinnamon, some cloves and two cardamom. Once the pan is hot, add two medium sized onions thinly sliced, three large green chilies slit. Saute the onions and green chilies for about three to four minutes. So I'm sauteing the onions on high flame. So once they've turned, to a nice light golden colour, add the sliced tomatoes. Saute the tomatoes for about 5 minutes. Remove the sauteed onions and tomatoes and keep it in a plate. To the same pan, add about 2 tablespoons of oil. Now I'm going to cook the marinated chicken pieces. Cook the chicken for 10 minutes. Remove from the pan and keep it aside. I'm cooking the chicken in batches. So after removing the first batch, I'm adding the second batch of pieces. Cook the pieces for 10 minutes. Remove them from the pan and keep it aside. After 10 minutes, I'm going to remove the chicken pieces from the pan and I'm going to keep it aside. 
So once you've removed the chicken pieces, add the sauteed tomatoes and onions back into the pan. So we're going to continue to cook this. So you can see you have this nice gravy here. After about five minutes, add some fried onions. So these are really nice crispy fried onions. Add a few chopped coriander leaves. Add a few mint leaves. Add some fried onions. Close the pan and cook for about 10 minutes on low flame. After 10 minutes, turn off the stove. So the chicken is cooked beautifully along with the gravy and the masala. So next we're going to layer the biryani. I've taken a nice deep pot with good height because when you place it in layers, you need a nice deep pot. The first layer is going to be rice. Add the cooked basmati rice and spread it out evenly. Next, add the cooked chicken tikka, spread it out evenly. So you can do this in three layers or two layers. So I'm doing it in two layers each. Top the chicken pieces with a few fried onions, some chopped coriander leaves and a few mint leaves. Now add another layer of rice on top, spread it out evenly and gently press it down. So you can see it's nicely packed. I'm topping it with a few fried onions, some chopped coriander leaves and some mint leaves. So the final layer will be the layer of chicken. I'm adding the remaining chicken pieces. Spread it out evenly. And finally, I'm finishing off by adding a few fried onions, a few coriander leaves, and some mint leaves. Close the pot. So I'm sealing the pot with an aluminum foil to retain the heat inside. Now that we've layered the rice and the chicken, I'm going to place it on dam for about 15 minutes. Heat the tawa. Once the tawa is hot, place the pot on the hot tawa, keeping the flame on medium. Leave it in dam for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, turn off the stove. Remove the pot from the tawa and leave it aside for about 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, I'm going to open the pot. So let's see how the biryani is. Oh wow, look at that. So just gently mix it. delicious chicken tikka biryani is ready to be served. Serve it nice and hot immediately. You can enjoy it as is with some nice raita or some nice gravy by the side. Here is this absolutely delicious and fantastic chicken tikka biryani. So I was actually meaning to make this for a very, very long time and uh, there were a lot of requests for this particular uh, dish. So finally I've made it. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please do try it at home. You can enjoy it with some nice raita and some salad by the side. And I've made the chicken biryani with bone. But if you do like to make this particular chicken tikka biryani boneless, you could also do that. So do try the recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends.